So we're getting real close to painting this old cab. Filled all the holes and it's come down to the thing that I hate the most, sanding. Not that I'm putting it off, but before we do that, we're going to have to get that old console built up in there for my radio. i got to have my tunes when I'm cruising. Let's get to it. How to do this is really the thing that I'm trying to figure out to not make it look stupid. Um, to get the speakers in here, I really, I'm thinking about it, I really don't want to put them in the corners. Maybe we can integrate it into whatever we put in here, but I'm just looking at going from here to here, just this area here. But I don't think it's enough room to fit speakers in. We're going to have to put some kind of structure in there first, whether it's wood or metal, to fiberglass over. All right. So all I've done here is I started a cardboard template, cut it to the curvature of the roof, and my idea is to repeat that here, because we want this hanging down low, so we're going to repeat the curvature of the roof right here. Because we need at least uh, four inches, three and a half inches to house the radio here. So I want to start with uh, two sides that emulate this curve. So that's where we're going to start. And then go straight across and come back down. Let's get started with that. All right, so all I did here is I cut some cardboard in the shape of the roof panel. It's two foot inside here, one foot in the back. So we almost got like a kind of a, a V shape for to put the speakers. Um, running wires is no issue if you wanted to put them back here. But I'm thinking maybe we got some spot, spots here, maybe behind. I really don't want them up here where you can see them. Maybe utilizing this area right behind the door on both sides and we can run our speaker boxes there and keep this clean looking so i'm going to continue on with fabricating this get it made out of cardboard first and then we'll transfer it all to wood all right so after a lot of cutting and half a roll of duct tape i think we got a pretty good three-dimensional template here to work with it tucks up pretty high. You can see our uh, radio right there. Easy to get at. So I think this will work out fine. You can get a few lights in here. And maybe just one back here. Speakers in the doors, like I said before. I think this will work out. Now, I'm not real sure if I'm going to make this out of wood or should I duct tape this whole thing together and. Uh, Try to fiberglass over this. I don't know. I've never heard of anybody fiberglassing over a cardboard, but if we wrap it in duct tape, will it work? You can only find out, right? All right, we're out here on a new day, and after thinking about this thing last night and looking at it this morning, a couple of things I don't really care for. Um, I think we need to streamline this. This just looks too big and clunky. So what I'm thinking of is maybe cutting this down to like maybe a, an inch at the back. Cut, um, cutting this out here too and just flattening that up against the uh, flattening that up against the roof line. Uh, I think it'll make it look a lot better. Uh, another thing that I think we should do, because this truck is so curvy, the fenders are curvy and the dash is curvy, we should probably maybe try to round these corners too to make it look like it's more part of the truck as opposed to something we just threw up in here. So that's the goal of the day, to try to re-modify this 
and uh, make it look a little bit more uh, like it belongs in here. All right, so I got it cut down, streamlined a little bit. Uh, it looks a lot better. Uh, you can see. I got the, the shroud that the radio fits in up in there. It does look a lot better. I think we need to do something here though. Um, uh, like I said, I still think I want to <clears throat> maybe kind of round these corners. I like the curvature of it. And I think it might be okay. It is tucked in pretty good in there, so I think we're going to probably run with that. Um, dress it up a little more down here, maybe with a little bit of an edge, just to kind of make that look like it wasn't just thrown in there. We'll just keep working on it. So this is what we ended up with. I rounded off here and here, and I got some cut up an old... Uh, pool noodle styrofoam and uh, we use that to kind of ease the curves on it okay so we got our three-dimensional cardboard template wrapped in duct tape to keep the shape um, I went out to the home center picked up some fiberglass mat cut it into strips uh, picked up some resin throw away tray, throw away brush. So we're just going to go ahead and start putting uh, fiberglass on this and see if it's going to hold. I'm pretty sure it will. I've seen people fiberglass over just about everything, including tin foil. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to take to that. Uh, let's get to it, man. All right, so we got our first layer of fiberglass on. We'll let that sit up and then we'll hit it again, maybe two more coats of fiberglass, how to do it to make it nice and sturdy. Why did you leave me? 
Why did you leave me behind? I don't know where you're sleeping, but you're resting on my mind. All right, well there it is. We got a, we got her all fiberglass. We got our first coat of bondo on it. I think it fits pretty good. Got a lot of sand in it, obviously, but uh, I just got it clamped up there for now. We got to figure out what we're gonna do for fasteners, how we're gonna actually fix it in there. But um, yeah, I think it's work out well. So. Like I said, uh, radio there. We're going to put a couple uh, overhead lights in there. We'll just drill them in when I get them. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to buy yet for that, but something to do a little bit of an old feel, I guess. So I'm going to spend a little time on the grill the rest of the day, and then we'll get back at it again tomorrow. Come back, baby. Oh, honey. So everything. Can be fine. I'm not sure where you're laying down tonight, baby, but you're resting on my mind. You got it for yourself. totally forgot to mention to you guys that when we were fitting these running boards back on, in order to get that inch and a half in the back to bring these fenders forward, uh, I would have had to cut the running boards, re-weld them, just to take like an inch and a half out of it. It just was more of a hassle than it's worth. I put the fenders back in the original position, refitted them with the running boards that I showed you, and it just doesn't have a really clean look. This is part of the housing from the Cadillac tail lights. I didn't throw them away after I cut them down, and I'm glad I didn't. I went ahead and bent one up flat almost, a little bit of a curve to it. And I'm thinking maybe we can do something like this. Bring it down even with the fender. Just put like a little skirt in there, just to kind of Close that up, and it'll give us a, a nice uh, transition into the roll pan. So I know it's a lot more work, 
but I think that's the way to go. It's much easier to weld something in like this. We'll just clean this up and weld it on as opposed to cutting them running boards all down, trying to fit them back together right and weld them back up. I just really don't want to get into that. So I think this is the way we're going to go. I got them taped up on there just trying to give you a little visual of what my thoughts are on this. Just to kind of kind of blend that into the fenders a little bit so we don't see the the back side of the fender when we're looking at it. I don't know if it looks odd. Maybe we will have to put a bumper on. Maybe I'll just go bumper anyway. These fenders just seem to hang down a lot more than I'd like them to. But I'm pretty sure if we use the bumper, we're going to have to cut it down because it's it sticks out uh, beyond the fenders. The last time I had it in here, it, was, it looked kind of goofy. So if we use the bumper, we'll probably have to cut it down. I don't even want it to come like maybe a short version of it. You know, just to cover this, just to cover this part here. So you're not looking at the bottom sides of the fenders and all that. I don't know. It's kind of tough to see in here because it's so enclosed. But um, that doesn't look too bad to me. I mean, once it's welded in place. But I don't know. We'll see. shooting for right there closing in that gap we got a lot more welding to do but I'm thinking then that's probably gonna work I'm not sure if we're gonna put a small bumper on the back here or not we'll have to see when this is all done what it looks like but I'll go ahead and do the other side and what we got. Alright, so we left off yesterday stacking these trim plates in. Got to do that one yet. I think also what we're going to have to do is maybe put a piece of metal across here to, to make that a clean transition and just fill that in. So I'll keep working on that. Well, the reason that I decided to do that is because. According to the internet, and we have to believe it's true, the wheelbase on a 1946 every truck half ton is 115 inches. Now this is currently sitting on a 1991 Chevy S10 regular cab frame which is 117 inches. So there's like a two inch difference there. I mean, if you really stood back when I first got the truck, you could kind of see where it's off just a little bit, but you know, not enough really to make a difference. I was gonna try to get it all lined perfectly in, and move the fenders and cut the running boards and all that. But you know, I got thinking about it. Um, when I first started doing this, I had to buy uh, classic vehicles that were already running and just needed some cosmetic work and uh, maybe a little undercarriage work, interior work, whatnot, because I didn't have a garage. I started in my backyard under a tent working in the grass. So there was no way for me to pull an engine or do anything like that. Um, 
today we got to the point where this uh, we have this glorified carport is basically what it is. The cobblestone pavers down, and they're not all that sturdy, but the front of it's sturdy enough to obviously pull the engine out of the truck. So I'm able to do that now. But in the beginning, I couldn't do it. So I guess what my point is. When I started doing this, I bought this flux core welder. Relatively inexpensive. I got it at the Harbor Freight. Um, great for sheet metal, great for stitch welding uh, body panels on vehicles. But to try to do a heavy weld, like what would be required on those running boards, I don't really have a lot of faith in the ability of this welder to actually penetrate deep enough to make it safe. This thing is great for packing and, you know, doing light duty welding. I don't think I'd trust it on anything heavy. So having said that, I decided not to cut the running boards down, put the fenders back in their original position, and just work with it that way. We're trying to give it a nice, finished, somewhat custom look to the best of my abilities. Um, so that's really what is going on here now. We're going to have to get the engine back in the truck, so we're going to have to get working on that pretty soon. So we can actually get the steering column mounted back in its original position. And I'm thinking before we paint too, we're going to have to mock in some kind of a headliner in here. Make sure everything is going to fit properly. Uh, finish up our console. Get all the rest of the details inside this cab finished up so we can get it sprayed. Um, like I said, next couple of weeks, paint, get our motor taken care of and back in the chassis. Let's do a little recap of the week. We got our console built. So now the biggest dilemma is are we going to paint this thing or are we going to use the fabric from the headliner to go over it and make it all blend together? I'm kind of leaning towards that idea myself. We got our grill body worked and shot. Is it perfect? Not even close. Will it work for what we need? Absolutely. Started welding on the plates on the back of the truck to hide the inside of the fenders. We'll keep working on that next week. Also next week, keep working on the body. Hopefully we can get this thing painted in the next week or two because the weather is starting to get a little chillier up here, so uh, I don't really have a heater set up in here yet or what I'm going to do. This is my first year, my first winter actually, uh, in this um, covered carport, I guess you call it. So we're going to have to get some kind of heat and maybe some insulation in here so we can actually work, finish up this truck. So there's, there's a lot left to do and uh, we're going to keep plugging on it, so hopefully you'll tune in next week. Hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, that would be cool. Share the video with a friend. Awesome. Till next week, take it easy, man.